The Mystery of the Lost Pyramid Part 6 The Heart of the Pyramid With the Spectre as their guide, the expedition ventured deeper into the labyrinthine passages of the pyramid, their torchlight flickering against the ancient stone walls. The air grew colder, and a sense of foreboding weighed heavily upon them. The clues from the scrolls led them through a series of ingenious traps and riddles that tested both their wits and their courage. As they descended further into the depths of the pyramid, the treasure's allure intensified, overshadowing the warnings of the prophecy. Finally, they arrived at the hidden chamber, a vast cavern adorned with ornate hieroglyphs, and filled with artifacts of unimaginable beauty and value. But at the center of the chamber lay the true prize and ornate sarcophagus, covered in precious gems and adorned with symbols of power and wealth. Richard Sinclair's eyes gleamed with avarice, as he moved to open the sarcophagus, his greed overwhelming any caution. But as the lid was lifted, what they found inside left them all stunned. It was not a pharaoh's mummy or a chest of riches, but a mirror. A mirror that seemed to reflect not their own images, but rather the deepest desires and fears within their hearts. Each member of the expedition gazed into the mirror, confronted by visions of their past, present, and possible futures. Lady Amelia Sinclair saw herself as a prisoner of her own secrets, haunted by the choices she had made. Dr. Samuel Thornton witnessed a future filled with scholarly acclaim, but a personal life filled with regret. Professor Evelyn Westwood confronted the realization that her pursuit of knowledge had come at the cost of personal connections, and Richard Sinclair who had sought only wealth and power, saw a future filled with isolation and despair. The mirror had revealed the truth they had come seeking treasure, but what they had truly found was a reflection of their own desires and the consequences of their actions. As they left the chamber, the specter appeared once more, its presence a reminder that the pyramid held not just material wealth, but also the wisdom of the ages. The prophecy had come to pass, not as a curse, but as a lesson. A lesson about the nature of true treasure. Emerging from the pyramid, the expedition faced the continuing fury of the sandstorm. But their priorities had shifted. The treasure they sought now lay not in riches, but in the bonds they had formed and the wisdom they had gained. The mystery of the lost pyramid had been unraveled, revealing that the true treasures of life were not hidden in ancient tomb, but in the human heart. As they made their way back through the desert, their footsteps echoed 
with the lessons learned and the shadows of deceit that had plagued them were dispelled by the light of understanding. And so the expedition members returned from the heart of the pyramid, forever changed by their journey, with a treasure far more valuable than gold, their own newfound wisdom. And the enduring bonds of camaraderie forged in the crucible of adventure. The mystery had been solved, but the adventure had only just begun.